Okay, looking good. Taking your time. Two-step process. There you go. A little left pedal. As you're increasing power. Good. Nice job. Now look left before you slide that way. Left is clear. Okay. We'll do a max takeoff from here. All right. RPMs uh, top of the green. Warning. Caution lights are out. Manifold pressure about 34. Fuel pressure's in the green. All gauges read normal. Well, the traffic helicopter November 8625 Kilo will be departing the ramp to the northwest. Well, the traffic. Okay. I'd go that way. So you're not overflying that plane. And we do have an open field right there, so at least. See how you could get into trouble? You're pulling to the max, your RPM's high, which robs you of manifold pressure, and you start moving towards the wires. I just stopped you, because I want you to come back down. You know, notice, notice early, go, you know what? That's not that great, I'm not sure if I can make it. Make that decision before it's too late to go, you know what? I was pulling max power, and your RPM was high, which was taking you clear up to the red line, and we were moving towards those wires. I thought I could get ETL, but what if I didn't? Right. Exactly. And that's my point, is don't wait until it's too late. And you can get into that position. So what I'm trying to, what I'm teaching you is, notice early. Damn, I'm pulling a lot of power. I'm all the way to the red line. I'm approaching my obstacle. What can we really do? Back oh, up. We could back up. You got, of course, we got planes on both sides of us. But tail's, tail's clear on the left. Okay, so if you want to turn that way, and let's go back a little ways and try again. Clear left. There's nothing wrong with abandoning it, you know, and right. saying, you know what? It's not that important to get out of here. I, I don't need that. There's no reason. We're not in a, not that big of a hurry. And now starting back here, if you do that same takeoff, okay, no big deal. You got time to build that ETL, but we were, and you could have skimmed right across that probably, but why, you know? I don't want to teach you to fly that way. I want you to be right. conservative. Dale's clear on the left. Morning caution lights are out. RPMs in green. All gauges read normal. And just take, you know, come coming up slow. Nothing wrong with it. Just take your time. Power's at the limit. You can't pull anymore. There we go. And it's still not really... Not real good. It's not real... <laughs> See why I stopped you? Yeah. Not real good, but it barely made it. So, probably a max takeoff on a day like today is not the best option. Nope. Right? Nope, not really. I didn't just kind of wanted to do it for... Sure. I just wanted to do it for practice, but no, I mean, there's no reason for it. We're from the airport. We got lots of room. We didn't have to get out of there. It's a good lesson, though. It shows the limitations and why. And it's because it's warming up. And I just, you know, I want you to understand, it's so, it's so easy to get yourself in trouble, you know, by making choices that you should have probably not made. Or just saying, screw it, let's just go out the runway. Right. Awesome student, and he did it, you know what I mean? Just that scenario. And he got scared, and what did he do? Just kept power and pulled it way over. Like I said, when I told John how far he went over, he said, he's lucky he didn't seize it. Wow. And he was going over trees. So, you know, just don't put yourself in that position. Right. Just don't ever do it. Just, if you're thinking, you know what, I'm not sure about this, I'd... don't go. Sit it back down. Recognize it early and go, no, nope, this ain't worth it. We're not doing it. You can sit down, burn off fuel, shut it off, wait till it gets cooler outside. You could drain fuel off. You could make your passenger get out. Do you have other options? Other things you could do? So just take your time. Let's go around and let's do a nice straight in auto. Okay. 